Gainer Hall is joining us now live with more on this tonight. Gainer. Yeah, Ray and Micah, the two sides may be moving closer to an agreement on a couple of issues, uh, including more weekly testing for teachers and more vaccines allocated for CPS teachers. But at this point, there is still no deal yet. And it has been a couple of hours since we last heard from Mayor Lightfoot and CPS CEO Janice Jackson. They put out a statement simply saying the discussions continue down to the wire in the battle over reopening Chicago public schools as time was running out on a 48 hour cooling period. Tens of thousands of students were supposed to return for hybrid in person learning on Monday, but that was delayed as the Chicago Teachers Union continued to raise concerns about the safety of the district's reopening plans, including disagreements over accommodation requests for staff who live with people who are medically vulnerable and on the issue of vaccinations for teachers here Here's what the director of the CDC had to say earlier today. There's increasing uh, data to suggest that schools can safely reopen and that that safe reopening does not um, uh, suggest that teachers need to be vaccinated in order to reopen safely. So the CTU's House of Delegates is meeting right now. One of the key sticking points we're hearing is still on those uh, work from home accommodations for teachers who are caregivers or living with people who are medically vulnerable. And another key sticking point uh, is on the health metrics on when uh, Chicago public schools should close, should there be an outbreak of COVID-19 cases. So lots of questions uh, remaining tonight and lots of uncertainty at this point for parents. Will there be a return to in-person learning tomorrow? Will remote learning continue? Or could CPS teachers who refuse uh, to show up for in-person learning be locked out of their online classrooms? We are still waiting for an update. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live tonight from The Loop, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. That's the latest. Thanks, Gaynor.